In Western, a four-month-old baby is dead after his father, a Rome police officer, left him in the car for an extended period of time. So that distraught dad called for an ambulance right around 4.30 yesterday afternoon. The United County Sheriff's Department, along with the DA's office, are now handling this investigation. News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris joining us now live from the newsroom with more on what's happening in this case today. Jolene. Thank you, Don. The investigation continues, and as you might imagine, the Rome Police Department won't have anything to do with this particular investigation. Every parent's worst nightmare happened on Elmer Hill Road in Western Monday afternoon. Mark Fanfarillo had contacted um, emergency services for an ambulance there when he had learned that um, he had left the baby in the vehicle. Uh, at a short time later, we were contacted by Rome Police Department and asked us to um, conduct an investigation into this matter. Four and a half month old Michael Fanfarillo was pronounced dead at Rome Memorial Hospital. His dad, Mark Fanfarillo, is a 10 year veteran of the Rome Police Department patrol, currently on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation, also to allow time to grieve. Why he left the baby in there, that's all part of the investigation. Uh, but yes, he was the one responsible for the baby at the time there, and he left the child in there uh, for an extended period of time. Officials aren't saying how long, but pediatricians say, sadly, it doesn't take very long for things to go badly inside a vehicle, especially for the littlest ones. Things can happen really fast when it's not even hot. You could be, it could be a 75 degree day, and then a kid could have heat stroke and even die in 15 minutes. Oneida County Chief Deputy John Owen says the baby's family is cooperating with the investigation and that they are obviously devastated. With the entire summer still ahead, a life-saving reminder. Put a stuffed animal in the car seat so that whenever you put your kid in the car seat, you take the stuffed animal out and put it in the front. So that's like a visual reminder. It's something that could happen to anybody at any time. The Onondaga County Medical Examiner was set to perform an autopsy today. I did call for an update moments ago. There isn't one yet. Now, once the investigation is complete, the Oneida County District Attorney's Office will decide if criminal charges would be pursued. We could hear something in the way of a cause of death in the next several days. Back to you. Jolene Ferris, live in the newsroom tonight. Today,